Good afternoon everyone, my name is Jack and I'm with Northwest Bus Sales. Today I'm going to be showing you a 2012 Ford F550 Champion Party Bus. Let's check it out. As I said, Ford F550 with a Champion body and a limo conversion done by West Wind Coachworks. Uh, you'll see it's got the full limo style wraparound seating here. Uh, this is a, a marine grade vinyl, um, so it is waterproof. People can spill all that they like on these seats and it'll be just simple to wipe it up. Uh, got Wyatt behind the camera doing a great job today. Uh, this does have, uh, we're gonna show the coolers here. This does have a total of four coolers built into all the seats. Uh, the first two do have uh, champagne glass holders here. You see going down there, it can hold a total of five. Uh, five champagne glasses, there's more on the wall in the back, I'll show you in a little bit. So uh, you do have ice chests down there on each one, on all four. And then uh, if you look behind the seats here, there are cup holders on each one. And you'll see we have the shades down, but these are fully retractable shades. And the bus is not missing any of them, they're all fully functional and work. Uh, coming on the back here, so we have lights in the ceiling. These are called the dance lighting, I guess, is what our West Wind Coachworks called this. Uh, these are all tied in, the top and the sides here. Just give it that nice, you know, uh, exciting party vibe to it. Uh, coming farther down, you'll see you got two more coolers here. Uh, they don't have the, uh, the uh, champagne holders because you got some more back here. <clears throat> so uh, coming on to the back again, this can hold uh, five of them. You have a total of 20 glasses you can hold in the rear. There is one part that got chipped off, so we'll just call it 19 glasses unless you want to get that fixed there. Uh, down here we have a trash can where people can put all that and that's accessible from the rear that we'll show you in a little bit. Uh, up top we have your uh, uh, ceiling mounted AC evaporator. This is up here, AC blows nice and cold. There's also heat underneath which we'll show you in a second. Um, all the way back here, so this is a, uh, we got your little laser show system and it is voice activated so if I Flap, it's going to change colors so it kind of goes with the music and everything so that's nice uh do have a tv as you can see in the rear uh this does not connect to audio uh but it's only video so if you want to sh show like a slideshow or whatever you'd like or just some 70s abstract art here like it's showing right now you can do that so that's pretty cool uh coming all the way back up to the front here we're going to go over a few more things in the transition panels, we got kicker speakers, a total of six, and these things do bump pretty hard. Uh, they sound awesome. It's not just some, you know, OEM, you know, plastic speaker. These things sound pretty good. Uh, coming on to the front here, you have a few different plugins. You can plug in an aux port if you'd like. Um, you have a USB as well, CD, Sony, AM, FM, radio. You have all the controls for people uh, back here for the ceiling lights, dancing lights, bar lights, floor lights, and the post lights. And then uh, you also have some 12 volt plugs here if you want to plug in a phone or charge something. <clears throat> and yeah, that'll pretty much do it for back here. Let's check out the driver area. All right, so in the driver area here, we're in the F550 cockpit. Um, it does have a, has cruise control here on the left. Believe it or not, they don't all come with that, so that's good to know. Uh, the number one thing about this bus, 36,000 miles. 36,000 miles in this baby. So that is, I mean, you know, this thing's pretty much a peach. You're not gonna find anything else like this anywhere in the world. Uh, over here to the left, um, this does have uh, powered locks and powered windows. Um, so it actually was originally a dual door chassis because that only comes with those, and so it's not all manual or anything, that's a great function there. It also has OEM uh, power locks here as well, which is pretty rare on shuttle buses, so pretty cool. Uh, power windows here to the left, over here to the right, we got your standard Ford AM, FM, CD stereo. Um, this is to open and close the door, right here, and there's also a, uh, well, I have it in my pocket right now, but there's a little remote, I can find it here. There's a remote here that you can actually open and close the door. I'll show it to you from the buttons here. So you can actually open and close it from the outside wirelessly. That's always nice. Uh, rear heat is right here. And this is the main master switch. It says overhead lights. They just replaced it with another switch. This is the master switch for everything in the rear. You turn this off, everything in the back shuts off. So yeah, that'll pretty much do it for the inside. Let's check out the outside. 
All right, so uh, as I said, Ford F550 Super Duty chassis. Uh, this is powered by the Ford Triton 6.8 liter V10 gasoline engine. Engine's been around forever. We've sold thousands of them and people love them. Definitely one of Ford's best engines there. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's open this baby up here. Let me see what's going on. Why it'll give you a nice glance underneath. Looking good. Definitely a clean vehicle. This was used most of its life up here in the Puget Sound area. And we do not use road salts out here, so it's not gonna be a, a rusty bus at all. Uh, White's gonna show you the front uh, passenger side tires here, as well as a nice pan of the undercarriage. Show you what's going on underneath there. All right, and those tires are about 14, 30 seconds. 14 to 13, 30 seconds right there. Got a ton of life left on those. Uh, you'll see going all the way down, we got black paint on pretty much the entire bus, obviously. Uh, paint looks good. Don't see a lot of, you know, orange peeling or runs, anything like that. Paint looks in pretty good condition. You'll see tiny little spots of white, especially along these trim lines here. That's going to be the most of it. Uh, it is raining outside, so it's kind of hard to see. There's going to be minor, minor scratches and uh you know just, just normal wear and tear stuff you can see a little tiny scratch right here if you really get close to it but over and above all body's in great shape skirts aren't all dented anything like that windows look great you'll see that they're pretty pretty dark tinted we also have the shades down as well but uh they are a nice tint there uh why it's going to show you the rear uh passenger side duels and those that are about 13 to 14 30 seconds as well so all the tires on this, 13, 14, 30 seconds. So I'm gonna show you underneath, give you a nice view. <clears throat> all right, uh, coming around the back here, these corners tend to be where you're gonna see the most damage on buses, people backing into things. Uh, previous owner of this took great care of it, going all the way up and down. There's no fiberglass damage, there's no big scratches, no big cuts, looks great. Uh, so inside here, we do have a rear luggage area. Uh, it's not the biggest in the world because uh, a lot of your electronics are back here. But um, you can see that they put a nice curtain over it to make it look a little better. Um, but there is room for some storage. You can see that's where you can get to the trash can in the rear. So you can, <laughs> so you can get a hold of that. All right, coming around the other side, this, this uh, Rear driver's side corner looks great as well going up. You're gonna see a little more of what I was talking about with the trim here. I mean, again, this is very minor cosmetic things, but you'll see a little bit of the white coming out there going down, but it's nothing too crazy. You can see a little more of it here, but uh, it's just something I do wanna point out. Uh, we do have a uh, very heavy duty gas cap here. It does lock, so uh, you know people can't siphon your fuel. Um, one other thing I wanna point out, you're gonna see these little uh, these little knobs in the back here, these are, uh, I believe these are a Firestone. Uh, it's kind of like an air assist product there. I don't have a whole lot of knowledge with that, but it does, it's not a complete air ride suspension. These are put on after the fact, but it is a little bit of a cushion with those leaf springs, and that's what those are. And these are kind of like the same, uh, the, it's the same valve stems that you'd see on a tire. So that's what those are. Uh, Wyatt's gonna show you the rear driver's side duels. Again, those are, uh, those are around 13, 14, 30 seconds. They're looking great. Uh, we have your uh, skirt mounted air conditioning condenser, a nice trim over it, nice molding, all in good shape, looks great. And uh, I do want to point out that this does have a driver's side running board, a really big one actually, and this just allows for an extra step coming on into the bus, you know, to help some drivers that need a little bit of assistance inside. Well, thank you for watching this Northwest Bus Sales exclusive video tour. I just do want to point out that from the time that I'm making this video, we do have about five party buses available and they come in uh, all different sizes. We have non-CDL ones, 16 passengers, 25 passengers. We even have one bigger than this one. So if this, uh, this is a little too big or too small, please feel free to give us a call. I know we have a few options available. But uh, yeah, you can reach us at 1-800-231-7099. Uh, Visit us at nwbus.com or email us sales at nwbus.com. Thank you very much for watching.